Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're glad to have you listening. Today's topic is about pacifying and spiritual hunger. We'll return with the devotional after a brief message from our sponsor. This summer will be the most fun and safest with swim lessons from British Swim School. Offering swim lessons to babies and kids across the U.S., British Swim School gives you the confidence to let your little ones enjoy pools and lakes safely. British Swim School has highly trained instructors who specialize in fun and gentle teaching in a small class environment. Sign up for classes now at BritishSwimSchool.com. That's BritishSwimSchool.com. British Swim School. Make a splash. Hey there, it's Nicole Eunice from the How to Study the Bible podcast, and I'd love to invite you to join us as we weekly discover a passage of God's Word together. From beginning to end, from principles to practicals, we are here to make sure that God's Word is powerful and relevant to your life. If that sounds like something you're looking for, I would love to invite you to subscribe. You can go to lifeaudio.com and search How to Study the Bible, and we'll see you there. Pacifiers and Faith in Christ Written by Emma Danzi Read by Rochelle Alberti I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. John 6, 35 I am the bread of life. As I held my newborn son and saw him upset and crying, my husband and I began to introduce the pacifier. The concept is genius in ways. It creates the effect of comfort for the baby when you cannot hold him, and it assists him when he is seeking to calm down. When my son is not actually hungry, the pacifier is wonderful. However, if he is ready to eat, the pacifier is never going to satisfy his hunger. He will continue to cry out, hoping for some of that delicious mother's milk. In a similar way, there are things in life that we pacify with as adults things that in actuality are not bad and can temporarily satisfy us. But our spiritual hunger is only met by Christ alone. Jesus calls himself the bread of life in John 6.35. He makes the claim that he is the only one who can fill our empty heart. He makes this claim to the woman at the well. She had been pacifying with a life of seeking her identity in men. However, Jesus brings up that only he can give her what she is truly looking for in life. Bread was significant to the culture in this time. It was a staple food in every home, and it was connected to the manna provided to the Israelites in the desert. Jesus was proclaiming more than just helping the woman. He was sharing that he was the Messiah. He was the manna coming down from heaven. He was, and is, and always will be God. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger. A hungry baby is not a pretty sight or sound. When my son begins to cry out for food that only I can provide, I come and give him what he needs. If I continuously just stuck a pacifier into his mouth, he would never be filled, he would never grow, and I would be a terrible parent. However, Jesus recognizes that we all have a hunger in our hearts for reconciliation with the Father. The Lord is perfect and our sins separate us from Him. Jesus came that we could have His fullness. Unlike temporary milk, He provides the eternal solution to our sin problem. The moment we accept Christ as our Savior, there is no more eternal hunger. He is ours forever. However, as life causes us to seek out other things to fill us up, we come back to knowing that He is the only one that will ever meet the need. And whosoever believes in me shall never thirst. Jesus goes as far to say that we will never thirst. You can go weeks without food, but only a few days without water. Water is a dire need. Jesus emphasizes that he is a great and regular need in our lives. We will never be thirsty spiritually for anything else once we are satisfied in him. As I picture my three-month-old crying out 
because the past fire is just not cutting it. I imagine my own life. I hold on to temporary fixes and worldly comfort, only discover that nothing measures up to the real deal. Nothing but Jesus will ever be my all, ever forgive my sin, or ever bring me safely to heaven. He is the giver of life. Where sin and my flesh dry out the heart, quenches it. His living water is for me, for you, and for everyone who believes in Him. Intersecting Faith and Life As I mentioned my son's desire for milk and the insufficiency of the pacifier, what is a pacifier in your life? Where or what do you turn to for comfort that cannot satisfy your heart? How are you hungry or thirsty for Christ today? What is stopping you from seeking Him and letting go of your pacifiers for the real deal? Further reading Psalm 23, 1-2 Psalm 42, 1-2 Matthew 5, 6 The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Learning to swim is a magical time in a child's life. The excitement of the water, playing with friends, making memories on vacations that will last a lifetime. British Swim School has locations throughout the U.S. where we specialize in teaching anyone to swim, from babies to adults, beginners to those who need a refresher pre-summer. British Swim School's instructors make learning to swim fun with gentle teaching methods. Sign up your kids for swim lessons at britishswimschool.com.